I'm testing out a few different ways to remove paint from brick. Of course, of a few weeks, I tried a combination of a citrus strip, a rag, water, plastic brush, metal brush, rubbing alcohol, and drill brush attachments. And by the end of this, I found out that the citrus strip and the metal brush worked the best. Through the video, I'm going to show you what to expect. I had a can of spray citrus strip laying around. So first thing I did was spray it on the brick. Now my first mistake was I didn't tape off the area. So when you're spraying this, there's a lot of residual oily, orangey, citrusy spray getting everywhere. I should have taped that trim over to the right and I should have put a garbage can or a garbage bag down on the floor. You'll see that I'm actually painting on the citrus strip. I just had this can of spray laying around, so that's what I used. The paint on version is easier to control and you don't get as much residual spray everywhere. So, but here you can see I'm spraying it on pretty thick. It usually works pretty fast. Within 30 minutes, it's ready to scrape off. I've left it for as long as like 24 hours and even a little bit longer, but then it doesn't work as well. Uh, but you can see here, this first tactic I tried was a plastic brush and it worked fine i felt like it was going okay i finally got smart and taped off the trim uh, it was a little too late by the time i took the tape off my paint from the trim was getting peeled off but either way it was a learning lesson and now you can learn from me now this next day i decided to use a metal brush so that was a lot more effective you can see above where i'm currently scraping the white is still pretty apparent and then um, where I've just scraped, it's fairly red brick, which is really pretty. So that ended up being the second adjustment I made. I just switched from a plastic to a metal brush. The metal brush helped me get more in those little divots in the brick. And it was just overall a lot cleaner. Now, you'll notice when you're doing this, the citrus strip and the paint get really globby. You'll see my brush is getting really globby. And actually that paint then will get smeared kind of all over your brick. So it's really important to be able to clean your brush. Now this day I was using a rag to clean out my brush, but I learned later that it was just better to then, you can see the paint's really globby there. I learned later that it was just better to dip my brush continuously in water to help that paint continue to ball up instead of smearing. I went through a lot of rags before I learned that trick. So uh, learn from my mistakes. Also, just using all those rags with citrus strip is not great for disposal reasons. So use a tub of water. You can see my white tub of water there and my dirty rags. Um, again, don't recommend the rags, just recommend the water going forward. Here's a really good example of how the top using the plastic brush versus the bottom turned out using the metal brush. Something else you'll want to note is that you should wear gloves when doing this. This is like a stripping agent which can be really really hard on your hands and on your lungs so make sure you're in a well ventilated area. My gloves actually I had to change them every so often because the citrus strip kept eating through and um, getting on my fingers. So I uh, highly recommend you either double up with gloves or at least make sure you're aware of uh, when the citrus strip is eating through gloves. Now here is where I listen to everybody else. They're like, why don't you get those drill brush attachments? And I'm like, wow, I am done being stubborn. I'm going to do this. And I did feel pretty badass doing it. So then I'm like, filming myself getting ready to go and I go on there and it starts like sparking and stuff is flying everywhere I'm like am I doing this right so then I try to dip it in water it's still going freaking everywhere it's not really working that great but I'm like okay maybe I'm just doing something wrong um I, I did not really try to give up on this I actually gave it a real college try I just wasn't a fan maybe other people have better recommendations for me um, but you can see how bad it looks compared to the brick above it. I'm still going to have to use the manual brush anyway. I even tried a different attachment and that one was even worse. It splattered all over the place. And you don't want that to splatter on your paint because that's going to remove the paint. So 
overall, it was kind of a waste of time and I would have to use the manual thing anyway. So they're only $8 at Walmart. Maybe that was part of my problem, but you could see that I just brushed and it looked, worked a lot better. So. so now I'm going to show you again my favorite method using the wire metal brush and just dipping it in water. You can see the paint balls like collecting at the bottom because using water just helps it ball up and it's a lot easier to manage, a lot cleaner than having to clean your brush off on the rag every few minutes. Um, so yeah, that ended up working great. It was still hard, don't get me wrong, but this was my favorite method for removing paint from brick. Now I'm far from done. I haven't done the sides yet, but you can see that this is how it ended up. Such pretty brick. I think I have a little bit of cleanup work to do at the bottom, um, but overall so much prettier than white.